Okay. Okay, we have uh two easy sky board plane dolphins. This is the original one with the uh, not the big rust angle on it, as you can see a little bit there. And actually a little bit uh, to the right as well on that one. This one, on the other hand, it's got the massive amount, almost a 45 degree, probably about a 40 degree angle going up on it. You can see the difference there. And it also has a little bit of right angle thrust on it as well. Uh, nothing else is different except for the, this one has a little air intake. You can see there to cool off the uh, ESC. This one doesn't have that, so I had to cut in a little bit on the fuselage there to try to get a, just a little bit of airflow onto the ESC there to keep it cool. The motor really doesn't need any. Um, so that's basically the, dif the only difference there. Um, the ele uh, somebody said the elevator was different. They're exactly the same. Uh, everything else is exactly the same. It's just the motor mount. Uh, this one is about two or three grams lighter because it has less foam, uh, I guess, because I, you know, I put exactly the same uh, stuff in them. And this one weighs two grams less, two to three grams less. So we're going to try flying the original first, see if it was really that much of a problem. And um, then we'll go on to the newer version with the bigger thrust angle to see if that one solves the problem. So here we're going to hook up the battery here. We've already got the transmitter on. And this is the maiden flight. So, I think I have to trim it up at the beginning. This is, and I'm kind of rusty too because I haven't flown for about three months. Or well, flown uh, four, four channels for three months. So I'm a little nervous here. It's about three to four meters per second of wind, so. Uh, but they say that this will do pretty well in the wind, so we're going to hope. Here we go. Okay, so I'm not feeling any kind of big problem. Let's see. Let's try to make it glide here. Okay, I've cut the power and we're gliding. Oh, by the way, this is a Nanotech 460 US in here. And look at that. It's got a pretty decent glide there. And power on. It goes a little bit down, but it's not that bad. Similar, not as, not even as bad as Cloud Fly. Uh, X and Floater Jet. So. down a little bit, but it's really not that bad. I, I, I don't see the problem with it. I don't think it's that bad. Power on.
comparison to the clouds fly. I wanted to show the Aixen flutter jet. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. Nice comparison there. It's uh, less than one side of wing. <laughs> less than half. Bad to me. I don't know. Okay, I, I don't feel quite the power in this one that I do in the other one, definitely. It has less power because of the thrust angle. It definitely has less power, but it doesn't do that. Do that pushing down a little bit on throttle on, but it wasn't that bad in the other one. It's easily um, compensated. you like a hood for that camera, don't you?
seems a little more floaty. I, I, I can't quite understand it. Little differences between so we're gliding, so Okay, I see I see what it is now. If you put on too much throttle at once, it'll dip down. But if you if you gradually go into throttle, Well, the rolls are way faster on this one. The rolls are so much faster, I can't understand why. I guess it's the extra power? Because this, this more straight thrust angle gives extra power. It definitely has more power. And it's, it's giving my, my rolls are much faster. The speed is faster, the rolls are faster. High thrust one is probably better, but for intermediate and above, this is much better. Yeah, so I have to say, for me as a kind of intermediate fire, I prefer the original, but for beginners, probably.